Hey guys, we have another experiment with specific gravity. Now I have here my favorite glaze that I've ever made and I don't know how to make it. I made a batch of this um, a couple years ago and I had done something wrong but I made a big batch so it lasted me through a ton of um, glazing in these little communion cups. But then I could never quite repeat it until this one. And so I want to show the process of how I found this glaze by experimenting with specific gravities. So <clears throat> I knew it was on top of a glossy, uh, the base glaze was a glossy black, and then the top cover glaze was this that I'm going to call Infinity or Universe Juice from Kung Fu Panda. <laughs> so what I'm doing here, I'm, I'm going to show you from up top, but what I have is uh, the base glaze of black on this row is 1.6 specific gravity, 1.5, 1.4, 1.3, 1.2. 1 now going, the cover glaze goes in this way, the rows. This is 1.6, this is 1.4, and this is 1.2. So I'm going to put this batch in the kiln and we're going to come back out and I'm going to show you guys the array that we have here and how I found this glaze. Okay, so I wanna show you, this is kinda of peeking over my shoulder here. This is my glaze array. So this is the thinnest base glaze at a 1.2 base color, and this is the thickest base glaze at a 1.6 for the, this is for the glossy black that's underneath. And then the cover glaze is ranging from uh, 1.6 specific gravity all the way down to 1, 1.6, 1.4, 1.2. So as you can see, here's my, here's my one, this is my original, this is one of the originals that I was trying to recreate. This is one I recreated recently, but um, as you can see, nothing on here looks specifically like that, although there's one that's close. And I'll give you a hint which one it is. Now this is the one, I hope I can get this in focus here. This is the one that worked kind of. So look at the discrepancy between these two. You're getting a lot of that same texture. You can see that rutile uh, underneath there, uh, hinting blue. But the difference is, I believe, the base glaze is, this is obviously like a light gray and this was a dark black. Now one thing that I didn't do when I was mixing this glaze was measure out how much black mason stain I was putting in the clear glossy base glaze. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to go back and I'm going to glaze one more test with more black mason stain in the black, in the black glaze at 1.6 uh, specific gravity for the color cover glaze and 1.2 specific gravity for the black glossy base glaze. Okay, let's check it out. All right, guys, I'm so excited to tell you the mystery of the past year and probably a hundred different vessels on various line tests, line blends, has been solved. The unique specific gravity of the combination I'm calling Universe Juice from Kung Fu, Kung Fu Panda has been solved. Look at that. Is that awesome or what? I just love this stuff. I'm going to do some fancy shots of this here in a minute, but if you would like to get your own, Universe Juice Glaze Combination uh, Wear. Check out the links below under Universe Juice. That's all there is to it. If you like this glaze combination, you want to get your own, check out the link below under Universe Juice. Thanks for watching and keep learning.